Right, what are we looking at here, Chris? Uh, OK, well, we're now we're into the engineer's page on the control panel. This allows uh, an engineer on site to configure the studio for a specific uh, institution. Uh, in this case, we are looking at the power controls uh, section, and you can see various different devices are able to be switched on and off um, from this control panel. Uh, previous studios, everything was wired uh, directly um, and uh, had to be switched off either by a switch in trunking or by a 13 amp socket. Um, it means that the uh, engineer can easily restart or reboot or switch off a device uh, if it is misbehaving. Um, of interest to energy saving is the auto shutdown features which allow us to enable or disable the feature and set it for various different timeouts. Now by setting it in this stage um, and leaving the studio, even if the studio is completely powered on, um, after one hour in this instance now, the studio will shut it down into its minimal power setting, including switching all of the monitors off onto standby, switching off all of the ancillary equipment and uh, reducing the power consumption to an absolute minimum without any user intervention whatsoever. Right, that's good. So, but even if uh, that's happened and an incoming call came in, everything would just wake up, would it? Absolutely. The, uh, the, the control panel understands that uh, a call has come in and that the equipment needs to be uh, powered back on and it will take the incoming call command and translate that into uh, a switch on command for all of the other ancillary equipment. So this means that with, this, with these studios, if, if somebody just walks out and forgets to turn everything off, at the very maximum the kit is going to be just left on for four hours, yep. or most of the kit. Um, so there's no danger of it being left on right over the Easter holidays or something, something of that nature? Absolutely not, no. Okay. So I see you've got a button for the projector as well there, what does that one do? Yep, the projector, uh, whereas in the previous studios the projector started up automatically, um, and you had no option of, of uh, um, starting the projector up manually. Mm -hmm. uh, in these studios, we can say whether we want to start the projector up when the studio starts up or without, uh, without the projector starting up. We can also manually power it on and off at this stage, and um, uh, we can say what uh, source we want to we want to view but from an energy point of view it's these these few options up here okay i noticed actually while we've been talking those screens have gone blank in front of us that's correct what's happened there the even though we are in a powered up state um the uh, codec is uh configured to time out uh, essentially going into a low power sleep state so even if um, we are uh, we leave the studio powered on. Um, if we're not in a call, then the then the studio the codec itself will go into a slightly lower powered state. It has to be on all the time, but it will put itself into a sleep. Mode. Okay, oh, that's good. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, cheers.